Never should have received an invitation, and uh, as soon as we found out, uh, we rescinded the invitation immediately. Uh, the Member of Parliament uh, who uh, included this individual uh, has and will assume full responsibility for his actions. This person should, of course, never have been invited. That invi and the invitation has now been rescinded. We're looking into how this happened, and um, we know when there's international travel, sometimes people will come forward whether they have been invited or not. But I need to say that. Sikhs and Indo-Canadians of all backgrounds uh, have uh, contributed tremendously to Canada's success, to the growth of our communities, uh, and the strength of our country. Uh, and this trip uh, has been an opportunity to celebrate and deepen uh, the ties uh, and uh, celebrate uh, a bright future working together. Perhaps I can't say immediately how that happened. Uh, there are different ways of people coming into India, uh, you know, whether you are an Indian national, whether you have hold OCI cards. Uh, so we are uh, ascertaining details from our mission. Uh, we will have to see how this happened and uh, then I can perhaps at a later stage I can share some details on this matter. The Honourable Prime Minister Trudeau should have avoided these kind of controversies, meeting such kind of fringe elements. Uh, reason being, uh, the way uh, the Prime Minister got his image, that is uh, above the nation and above the community and above the religion. Uh, people take uh, Trudeau as a young politician who got a future of another 30 years. Considering these kind of people in, the, in his uh, list of guests will definitely have an impact on his political life also and also with relations between the two countries. <laughs>